new Dr. Phil. They caught their mom sexting during a family vacation. I like to make a grown man moan. Did you write those things? I didn't want to mess up my marriage. I just wanted to go have a good time. His mom leading an X-rated secret life. You go meet a guy in a parking lot? I never had sex with him. You just thought you could hide what you were doing and that you'd never get caught. It's none of your business. I would guess it is your husband's business. It all started with a text response and four little letters. L-O-L-K. On the surface, it sounds pretty harmless, but those four small letters set off a spark of suspicion, which later led to questions of prostitution and defensive responses like these. I never had sex for money. I hid it from my children. Then there were secret email accounts, internet ads soliciting sex, and bragging about it on text afterwards. Over 30 guys in six straight hours. It was crazy. Plus hundreds of investigative texts and emails like these full of questionable behavior and all obtained without the person's knowledge. At the center of this drama, a seemingly ordinary-looking suburban housewife and mother of six. And heading up the investigation into her questionable behavior, her very own daughters. My mother, Kimberly, is such a liar that I don't even know who she is anymore. My mother is a psychotic manipulator. My mother has been caught having disgusting sex with random men off the internet. I refuse to be around my mother. I will not allow my child to be around my mother. I don't call her mom, I call her kid. Well, Kimberly says her daughter's accusations are based on half-truths, misinformation, and mean motives. My daughters have done so many hurtful things to me. They've accused me of having an affair on my husband. They've accused me of solicitation for prostitution. They've accused me of taking my granddaughter out in public to meet strangers. And all these accusations are completely crazy and based on drama. I truly feel like if anyone is to blame for this family being so torn apart, it is Jackie and Brandy. Well, Kimberly's daughters say they don't know what to believe ever since they caught their mom sexting during a family vacation. I found the very first text message on my mom's phone from a guy that was asking her to find a vacant home that they could in, and her reply back was, LOL, okay. When I saw that text message, I was immediately disgusted. The text message was found on December 2nd. We went on our cruise on January 10th. Paid almost $10,000 for that cruise. 11 people. I'm pissed that Jackie and Brandy knew something was going on before they went on the cruise, and they went on it anyway. During our family cruise, my sister Hannah discovered several nude photos, both sent to my mom and photos that my mom sent of herself to multiple men. I was disgusted. I was mad. I was angry. It's not something you want to think that your mother would do. After the family cruise, we came home and Hannah got on the desktop computer. Hannah found multiple ads that my mom had posted. Hannah found an email of my mom prostituting herself out for motorcycles. And it says, this is what I need, $3,000 to purchase a new or used bike, or if you're willing, just to get me a new one around $5,000 or less. Hannah also found several text messages to mass amounts of different men to the point that it was hard for her and I to even keep up with. I was furious. Knowing what she did made me sick to my stomach, and I was disgusted she would do something like that. Well, Kimberly's daughter, Brandy, is here. Now, another of her daughters, Jackie, really wanted to be here today, but is too pregnant to travel. So she's joining us via Polycom. So let me welcome Jackie. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Listen, you're part of this conversation, so speak right up at any time, just as though you were here. Um, okay. Now, Kimberly, let me start with you. You're a mother of six. Yes. Four girls, two boys. Suburban mom. Yeah. You still have three at home, right? Yeah, technically. Okay, well, Hannah two and a half. Yeah. One's kind of in and yeah. out, and the right. other two are underage, and they're right. at home. Right. Okay, and then you've got these other daughters that, um, 
kind of happened onto something on your phone. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. And it was on your phone. Yes. It, it wasn't spam. That no, was you. Was you were on the phone. The phone. Yeah. And what was it that was found on the phone to start with? Uh, a text message from a guy saying, I want you to find a vacant home that we can in. And my mom's response was, L O O K. Okay, that was the L L L O L K. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. Yeah, laugh out loud. Uh -huh, okay. Because that's what I tell all of them when they <clears throat> ask me for that. All of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and them would be. Anytime, anytime you're, you know, I'm a real estate agent, and you get offers and questions like that all the time. And every time I say, yeah, sure, whatever. Really? Because I've bought and sold a lot of homes, and I never brought that up to a damn one of my agents. Have you met some of them and done that? No, never. No, you don't do that. No, That's never. Um, I'm sorry? I said that's a lie. How do you know that? Have you seen this? Have you looked through the window and went, I have Whoa. not. No, I did not look through the window, but all of the text messages, and uh, as a professional, why would you let somebody you're selling a house to write you a text message like that? And even responding to it is disgusting. Like, okay, so here, here's the thing. You believe that your mother is on the internet going on to these sites, meeting up with men, and having sex for money. Yep, no doubt in my mind. So you're basically telling me my mom's a hooker. Yep. And Jackie, you agree? Yeah. I don't think I don't think that everything has been um, for money, but I do believe that she has been meeting up with men. I have to admit, I am the most non-judgmental person I've ever met. I, I mean, there may be others, but, I, you know, I'm kind of live and let live. I, whatever you want to do, I, whatever floats your boat. I right, mean, it's it, none it, of their it, damn business. Well, I would guess it is your husband's business. Right, I would think right, he would right. certainly have a stake. Right. There's two and, people I have to answer to, him and, and, him and God. And, and he it. couldn't come, but that's, he couldn't come because he couldn't hear the truth. That's, that's what's the problem. Yeah. Where is he? He chose not to come. Why? He's so embarrassed by their actions, he will not come. He's embarrassed by their actions. Their actions. This was a family it's okay matter. okay with yours? This was a family matter that went between me and my husband, and they have taken it to their friends. I mean, here we are, Dr. Phil. You, you chose to come, Over though. You chose matter. to come. Well, don't say that like something smells bad. <laughs> she goes, here we are, Dr. Phil. <laughs> She said yeah. she would do anything to fix the family. I did. I said I would and do anything is, and go anywhere to fix it. And so here I am. Here she is. So. Well, so let's see what this is based on, because I want to see what we can agree with. You, I mean, you don't know what my opinion about this is going to no. be, but you're not going to have to guess at it when we're through. I can promise you that. Th these are things that were found on Kimberly's computer. I'm for real. I love to blank blank. And I, I can't say it or FCC would have my hide, uh, but it, you're describing a sex act there, yeah. right? Uh -huh. I like to make a grown man moan, uh -huh. or at least give it my best try, smiley face. <laughs> I can't tonight. Are you open tomorrow night? I can send a face pic after you send one first. I'm married and not looking to mess that up. Now, did you write those things? Yes. You wrote those things? Yes, sure did. On my private computer in my private home in my <laughs> private office. Sure did. And you are married? Yes, I'm married. 23 years. Well, what was your intent? Excitement and fun. Okay, but <clears throat> you were wanting to meet up with somebody. At a time, yeah. You were busy that night. Did you meet with him the next night? No, I never got a chance to. You told your girls, oh, yeah. come on, this is all fantasy. This isn't for real. Actually, it was. I was We're just kind of fantasy going back. Chat what, no, no, wait a minute. You just, you, you can't tell it both ways. You said, this is all just fantasy. But to them, then when I asked you, you said, yes, I wrote that. No, and I said, you were two, wanting yeah. to meet him. Well, yeah, but I was busy. No, there's two separate incidents. Yes, I was part of a fantasy chat circle where it's no hands on sex, where you chat and talk about it and stuff like that. And then, there, yes, there was the times that I wanted to go meet somebody different and get out of my marriage. I have six kids. I've been married since I was 16 years old when I had Jacqueline. Heck, yeah, I was out looking for something. But your email says you didn't want to mess up your marriage. So if that's... No. The, don't, you're contradicting didn't want to mess yourself. Up my, I'm not contradicting myself. I didn't want to mess up my marriage. I just wanted you, to go you, have a good time. Well, I okay. to I, hold, that, hold that thought. I wanted to go have a good time. Now, there's actually a dirt bike involved in all of this. Yes. And yes. you're going to find out how after the break. These daughters admit 
to raiding Kimberly's email and sneaking into her phone, but they didn't stop there. You're going to see just how far they took their investigation when we come back. My sister Hannah and I created a internet ad, so I pretended to be my mom and recorded a phone conversation with one man who actually sent us a picture of her face and his private parts. I want you to tell me what you can do for me. And later... How embarrassing is to tell everyone that my mom was prostituting herself out? Like, who would I want to know that? Right? Well, Tell apparently everybody in the United States and 57 foreign countries, because you're here. My mom, Kimberly, claims that she has only ever had mental affairs. It took my mom three days to come up with an excuse that this was all fantasized and it was just a fantasy chat room site. Here's another one who said, is that the craziest thing you've ever done sexually? And mom says, I would say yes, over 30 guys for six straight hours, and it was crazy. Every time that um, we've confronted her, she claims nothing was actually reality. I think that she's full of crap. I do believe that my mother is a pathological liar. Well, Jackie and Brandy refuse to call their mother anything but Kimberly because they believe she's leading a secret sex life as a prostitute. As a result, they will no longer allow her around their children. Kimberly swears she is not having sex for money, but her daughter's suspicions led them to take their spying to a whole new level. My dad said he needed a smoking gun in order to prove that my mom was sleeping around with strange men. My sister Hannah and I went in together and created a internet ad saying that Kimberly, the new girl, is back and she's looking to get her original group of people back together. Please respond with what she looks like, how you know her, and when you met up with her. One man actually sent us a picture of her face and a picture of his private parts. He said that she drove a silver van and described that she had big curly blonde hair so I then pretended to be her and recorded a phone conversation with this man I want you to tell me what you can do for me you know what you did last time compared to what you're gonna do this time you can tell me now when my mom heard the recording, she denied it all immediately, of course, and said that I must have hired someone to actually put on this act. And then after I told her how stupid she sounded, she claimed it must have been one of our friends or someone we knew. I feel like every time Kimberly opens her mouth, another lie comes out. Okay, look, here's the deal. You've got to be willing to tell the truth, because if you come in and tell me half a truth or a lie or no truth, then we don't get anywhere. Right. You've right. got to be willing to just come clean. I mean, hell, they can well, kill you, but they can't eat you, know you right? The I truth mean, what? Isn't, they don't want the truth. When I've said the truth over and over, it's not that elaborate. That, that, so no, we've got to embellish and make it more and more. But what now, is the truth? I get paid for sex and, and crap said like that. You've so many stories. That's the problem. There's so mm -hmm. many stories, you don't even know what to believe. You tell them the okay, truth, so and they go, you're lying. I, tell me the truth. I, I want to know. You don't know. Maybe I can talk him into it. Hell, you give me enough time, I can get a <laughs> rabbit to hug a hound. <laughs> if, if you just give me time, what is is it? The what is the is truth? I was bored to death. You know, the husband works all the time, never comes home. He goes out in the garage. I don't see him. 23 years of the same boring crap. <clears throat> That's the Could... truth. I look for some excitement. I go out there. I tried to go and meet people. I couldn't do it. No. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, well, 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 wait, wait a minute. You... That's a whole other thing. Which story do you want? I went on a fantasy <laughs> yeah. chat line. What story? Fantasy <laughs> chat thing. It's no hands-off <laughs> sex. You just talk about it. You chat, whatever. So I thought that's a good way to do it. Then I don't have to have sex with somebody and screw up the whole thing, right? So that's what I did. But you didn't stop there, no, right? No, I didn't stop there. You did so meet men. I met three men, yeah. Uh, and you did have sex? No, I never had sex with them. One guy I met, and he was about 400 pounds and not at all what his picture <laughs> said. Jumped back in my little silver van and took off. The second guy I met at a parking lot. And he was even more disgusting than the first guy I met. And the third guy, swear to God, the third guy didn't even have teeth. So, after, so, but, I, after I went through all that drama and all that 
trying to hook up, right? I decided who how are you, to who are you talking to? Who are, who are you talking to? You're not running for election. Talk to me. <laughs> Look at me. Talk okay. to me here. So Hold that's on. the truth. I, th the point is, you just said, I went and met three men who were disgusting. Yeah. I, I, I can't imagine why. All you know about them is that they have a computer. And, and a you go meet a guy in a parking lot? I did. I know how stupid is that. They're raped and killed. It's very stupid. I it is incredibly that. stupid. Sorry, Jake, what did you want to say? I just wanted to know, um, so what about the 26-year-old you had lunch the day before your family cruise? Yep. I never had lunch Was with Was he disgusting? Yeah, yeah, I he, never had yes, lunch with anybody the day before. We have text messages. And that you're there. Okay. Thank that you. Thank you. Thank you. Is that fantasize? My daughters have a text message that say, be there in an hour, we'll only have an hour, are you serious? and then I'm leaving. What Maybe, are you talking no. about? You, Bring it up. You Where's have that? lied I so much. Street. You can't even look me in the face and tell me these lies. You've lied so much. You don't even know what you're saying. There is something wrong with you. You're living a whole nother life. Really? There's something wrong with you. Really? Yes, there is something wrong with you. See, I, I'm not... They want that to be because that sounds so much more exciting than mom not Do you doing think I would go on national TV and tell everybody what you've done? No. You already have, this, sweetheart. Yeah, you because I'm hoping, everybody. I'm hoping Dr. Phil can get you to realize that you are you have destroyed you this family. You don't want not the truth. Jackie and I have destroyed this family. I you want the truth. This. And they're saying Absolutely. they have text messages where you say, okay, I'm going to meet you. This house, all right, I'm getting off the exit. Yeah. I only Hotel have an hour. Confirmation numbers. I the only hotel I've been to, sir, in the longest time was in March when I went to a mom's conference. Well, ma'am, that's <laughs> not true. They probably do have yeah. my hotel confirmations yeah. from March. They didn't say. You said you got hotel rooms to I've set never, up no, to, to, to do web chats. No, I didn't. I don't. You didn't do that. No, I didn't. No, not once. I never told them that. And I've yes, never you been did. to a hotel. Yes, you did. Because I didn't set when them up. When we asked you about the hotel confirmation numbers, you said, well, they sent me to a hotel, and that's when I set up my camera. And that's when I, I have said, a camera. I don't even own a camera. And they're in 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 a camera. different hotel. And I said, well, right, why would you do that in a hotel? All right, stop. I got somebody, fired from the circle because I don't know how to use my webcam. Somebody cam. is lying to me. Right. Did you tell them that these hotel room confirmation numbers are for rooms I got to participate in the sex chat room. I wasn't meeting anybody there. They were just to participate in the sex chat room. I don't even have a hotel confirmation to okay. know okay. what they're talking about. So are you lying or did she tell you that? She's a liar. Even if I'm guilty of all of that, if, if I'm not like, every Tom, Dick, and Harry, then you won't have business. a family. Then you won't have a family. Jackie, is what about these hotel confirmations? Yeah, she did admit to going to a hotel room. She didn't have any sexual acts. She claims that she talked to them about sex. You pulled uh, that to okay, us. Okay, Dr. Phil, the here's the truth. They, during the circle chat thing, the guy goes to the hotel room. Not me. I was not there. I was at home in my own house in my computer. Okay, go in on. In my office, okay? So you're saying that you were at home logged on to a chat room. Yeah, watching. Where guys were in a hotel room. And girls. Engaged in sexual activity. Yes. yes. Yeah. You just thought you could hide what you were doing and that you'd never get caught. Okay, I'm going to get an answer to this because when people lie to me, I stop talking and move on to the next story. Now, somebody is lying here, mm -hmm. and I want the truth. You either said that these were hotel confirmations <laughs> that you did not use for sex just for fantasy, or you didn't. Now, either you're lying and Jackie's lying or you're lying. Where's these confirmations yes. that we supposedly have? Because I don't have I, I didn't ask you to show them to Our me. Our father I'm asked us to delete, or actually, we, he handed us the emails that we all had printed out. Three copies. Your husband asked you us to destroy to them. So true, Your not. husband asked us to destroy them. He has the only copy left, and he refused to give it to us because he didn't want you to make, to look like an idiot on TV, but you already do. You already Look, do. sweetheart. Like, he doesn't want to believe What I truth. did was not at truth. all any of this and deserves any of this. Yes, it does. And even if yes, I did, even if I'm guilty of all of that, even if I'm guilty of every single thing you they are. want me to be guilty of, what the hell's it got to do with them? My children. You want to see my child. You want to see her children. That's this not going to happen. Me, my Hold husband. on. That's not is, is, you. is your point that you think that your mother is going to take your child to a sexual assignation with some guy with no teeth in a parking lot? No. <laughs> yeah, my, right? my, 
my fear I mean, is, that is, a, is that a real fear on your part? No, my fear no. is he knows your van. How do I know you're not a drug dealer? How do I know you don't owe people thousands of dollars? What if you have my kid in your car? The people know what car you drive. How do I know they didn't come to attack Pretty you sure or Ford rape you? I have no idea. Do I vans. think? Do I think With you would? Like do I think you would take my kid to something like that? No. But how do I know a guy's not going to come after you? How do I know that at the safety of my child? And I wouldn't. You're you're a stranger to me, mom. Do you get hotel rooms? No, never, not once. What were the confirmation numbers for? I don't know that there are any. I think they're lying. Matter of fact, I know they're lying because there aren't any. So you don't have any proof? No, we did, but Dad asked yes, us to yes. destroy it. Oh, well, let's talk about this dirt bike for a second here. Yeah, we'll uh, talk about because that. there's an interesting email about that. You put an ad, right? No, I didn't get put on there. Yes, it did. <laughs> are you kidding me? It was on the internet. People responded. I wrote to it. it in paper. <laughs> I thought about it. No, you did not. There... On paper? It was on your computer. Why, it was why on an email that people responded did... to. They found it on your computer. Right. So it was just sitting up on the no, computer. No, no, like no, no, typed this it is my problem. I'm admitting that I did this. So right. what's wrong with that? No, no, you well, just I'll said get you to that it. in a minute. <laughs> I'm just trying to find out where the bottom is here. Then here's what? what here's what this said. It, it, this this ad, and you say you didn't post it. They say you did. It said, "quote I need three thousand dollars to purchase a new used bike, or a new one around five thousand dollars, a new helmet and boots." To avoid this being a prostitute transaction, yes, I know the law, money must exchange hands for sexual favors. I Googled it. I would rather money go to the cause. So any money can be given directly to my choice of shops, and they will hold a credit for me. It's not all about sex unless you need it to be. I will not pay for a room. That's your job. Kimberly. Right. Did you post that? I wrote it, yes. Did you post, post it? it? No, I didn't post it. You didn't post it. it. Well, I put it on the internet with a I didn't post it. My friend posted list. it for me. Let, let me let me look at this picture. Because I didn't here. know how to post it. Well, I see this thing where it says, I need three thousand dollars or five thousand dollars for a dirt bike. Then shortly after <laughs> I'm looking bike. at a picture of a dirt bike. No, I, I bought uh, three. I bought three dirt bikes that year and I sold five houses. Ask my call and ask him. Your, your people already did verify that. For, did your bike. friend post that ad? Yeah, my friend did it for me. Yeah. So it did get posted. Because I didn't know how to so do it. You but said, it did get said, posted. Yeah, it did get posted. Because so, yeah, a few minutes ago, you said it, it, it no, never no, got no, posted. You said you posted it. I didn't post it. I wrote it. And Who I said, it? I didn't write it. I, I said I didn't post uh, it. See, I wrote it. See, now. So okay. Yeah, I want to know. I didn't post it. I don't know how to. You're killing yourself now because, lady, that is a distinction without a difference. I want to know who this friend is. Because if you're, your again, business. again, yeah, again if my kid is that? with her and she's none hanging out business. with her friends that are letting her prostitute herself. Okay. Again, it's still none of your business. You it are 24 is. years old. You live in your own home. You, you want, want, if you want me in your life, if you want me in your life, if you want me in your life, every Tom, Dick, and Harry, then you won't have a family. Then you won't have a family. It's none of your business. Okay, well, if you want to live without your children, that's 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 your choice. Coming up, Kimberly says she doesn't think her daughters have been working alone. She thinks someone else is out to get her. We're going to find out who that is when we come back. Kim has cheated on her husband. The most shocking part was that she didn't care, and she did it in front of her daughter's best friend. When I saw Kimberly in the back of that van, I thought there's no way this is happening. My mom's always been very flirtatious our whole lives. <laughs> I smile all the time, so. My mom is um, pretty busting curvy. Her boobs are always hanging out in all of her outfits. I don't think she owns one thing that her boobs don't hang out in. I've always seen my mom as flirtatious with other men, but I never thought she would take it to the level she's taken it to. Well, Kimberly's daughters say their mom is constantly flirting, but they are also convinced it's way more than that. Even the family hairdresser, why am I not shocked, uh, is weighing in. Take a look. Emily is probably the biggest drama queen and foster of all of our town. She tops the list. I know for a fact Kim has cheated on her husband. The most shocking part is that she didn't care, and she did it in front of her daughter's best friend. Almost two years ago, I went to a concert with Emily, came home, everything was fine. A year later, Emily has all these accusations that I was doing something at this concert with men. 
Kim and I left the concert alone in her van, but we did get drunk and we had a good time. Kimberly invited two guys into the van. Girlfriend, those guys were all over me. I may be fat, but they were all over me. When I saw Kimberly in the back of that van, I just thought there's no way this is happening. I saw Kimberly commit adultery. It's totally impossible for any of her accusations to be true. I had too many people around me, my daughter, my nephew. Emily does claim I was too drunk to remember, but I'm the one that drove us there and drove us home. Emily makes up these lies because she's bored, needs a hobby. <laughs> Look, I I'm here with Kimberly. She <laughs> is the mom, six children actually. A few of them are here, uh, Jackie and Polly Com. I have Brandy here. We've just added Emily. Emily is a family friend. She's a family hairdresser. And you say that you've, this isn't just fantasy, because you've actually seen her out engaged You're my in Let's sexual activity. She's supposed activity. to be my best friend, my daughter's best friend. So I'm supposedly have done this in front of you, my daughter's best friend, right? Right. Crazy That's and correct. Big concert. Mm -hmm. Everybody's stuck getting out of the Wait, parking lot. Wait, can we clarify that she's drunk, drunk right? Supposed yes. Supposed to be, but she remembers all this, But right? you're Keep not. Going. Right, I'm not drunk, right? You're not <laughs> drunk? You so admitted that you drove home drunk to me. Oh, my God. I was not drunk, so drunk that we got home. I so was you the were kind of drunk. I was the one driving. So you were kind of drunk. I had two of those... Limerita things. Not drunk Moving enough on. to do what she says she saw me do. Keep going, Emily. Tell everybody okay, what so you Okay, so you pick these do. two guys up and actually pull out of traffic into a field. So <laughs> you look over your shoulder. She's in the back seat with a guy, and what's happening? Yeah, what's happening? Sexual acts, and I got really? out of the van. <laughs> my daughter's there, my nephew's there, but I'm doing what in my van? Okay, one of the things that I always worry about is when people spend a lot of time <laughs> focusing on irrelevant details to deflect from the matter at hand. <laughs> and you keep telling me that there were family members there. Yeah, were it's they not like in the, they weren't right were there. Were they in the van with you? No, they could have walked up. They were right over, like my van was here and they were right over here. They could have walked up at any moment. They were not even close to our van. Emily, you are just so full of no, 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 no. national TV now knows that you're no. such a big liar. Jackie, you guys get back from this cruise and call her, call Emily and say, here's what we found out about my mother. Do you know anything? Often people confess things to their hairdresser. So do you know of anything that's been going on with my mom lately or anything that's happened? Because she's been having affairs, but yeah. Emily wouldn't tell me exactly what she saw. Okay, she and then y'all don't want, want her to be around your kids, and you say she's so psycho that she went and borrowed some kids from one of your other friends so she could demonstrate that she was capable of taking care of children, right? Yep. I did. You sure did. And so Sorry. you told that person what was going on I, they shouldn't have their ch is there anybody y'all didn't tell how embarrassing is to tell everyone that my mom was <laughs> prostituting herself out like who would i want to know that my close friends well apparently why... everybody in the united states and 57 foreign countries because you're here yeah. well now they do yeah now uh wow okay are Not jackie good. and brandy the creating people. drama because they have nothing better to do well there's another sister here who says, yeah, actually, they are. We'll hear <laughs> why next. I know. And she walks she out. Helped. She helped. She helped. Jackie and Brandy are two poor housewives. So now she's thick corn field. Oh, she's my. so <laughs> dumb. My sisters definitely keep up a soap opera about the family. My family's always the first conversation that they have. Everything is always about my mom. I believe if Jackie and Brandy did drop all the drama, it could help in healing the family. I want my mom to realize that her cheating and hurting my dad did end up basically cheating and hurting us as the kids. Even though it's her business, it's definitely a family problem. Mainly it hurt me so much because my dad means so much to me. Well, Kimberly says what goes on in her marriage is her own business. But her daughters say that their mom's risky behavior is family business. There is another sister here, Hannah. Hannah, thank you for coming out and joining us. Is this being overblown? <clears throat> well, I, th I think it is being overblown. I think it's time to just let it go. Making too big a flap about it? Yes. Do you think 
that you have crossed any boundaries, any lines, gotten out of your lane and gotten up in somebody else's business that's not yours? Um, no, I do not. Okay, gotcha. Jackie, how about you? No. There was a particular quote that kind of stuck out at me. I don't need to associate with someone that takes my mom's word over my own. Is that y'all's opinion? That I shouldn't associate with anyone that takes I mean, my word? My if somebody word disagrees with y'all about what she's doing or her right to do it, do you think that's, they're, they're just wrong? That's, no, that's their decision. Yeah, that's their decision. But it doesn't but, mean I need a relationship with them. Uh, but there, the problem is there's obviously two sides of the story, and they're only getting one side of the story, and they come and attack us with one side of the story, and we can't say our our side of the story. Uh, they've already heard it There's from There's one story, her. and that story would be my story. Why, what do you mean I'm you can't say your side of the story? I can't one find anybody you haven't told your side of the story to. Um, uh, yeah. all, the, all of her friends that right. harass me on... Facebook and emails. text messages. I, I don't talk to them. I get saying karma is coming back to my son because I don't let you see my son. And the reason why my son is having problems and is in pain is because of karma coming back to me. I don't associate with those people. I didn't ask these people to write. I don't care. Those are your best friends. Those are your best friends. control what people but write. you can only control what you say to them. And they have so much hate for me. I have told said that to me. anybody. Your well, husband knows the whole story. You said that yes, too. he does. Okay. Well, you just said nobody knew, so that was another one of your lies. You know, sorry, they were concerned because word. when it came time, like you took everybody on a cruise in January. Yeah, and they all knew this was going on. No, no we found anyway. out on the cruise. No, we didn't know Thank anything you. was going on. The cruise from the house. You Thank just said no, at the you knew of this, about it you before you, you told us you, you knew about cruise. it before no, the cruise. No, I found one text no, we did message. Not. No, the, the, the Craigslist ads that all came after the cruise from Hannah. Okay, but you just told the whole world that you knew no, this before okay, you went. Let me talk. No, let me talk. Go, Jackie. It's my turn. So on December 2nd, Brandy did find that text message. I said, Brandy, mom flirts all the time, whatever. It's not a big deal. I didn't even look into it. I didn't think anything of it. Um, the only reason Hannah suspected stuff is because mom went to Sprint and had her phone get a password put on it. So on the cruise, Hannah was suspicious. Me and Brandy had no idea. Next, I'm going to tell Jackie and Brandy if I think mom's business is any of their business. Hey, Dr. Phil here. Did you know that more than 16 million kids in the U.S. are at risk of hunger each day? That's more than one in five children. Now, these are our neighbors, our kids that play in the neighborhood, co-workers, friends' children. The problem is closer than you would think, but so is the solution. Join me and visit feedingamerica.org hunger to find your local food bank to help. I'm Dr. Phil, and together, we are Feeding America. I'm going to declare executive privilege here, and I'm going to do a little talking. Um, and you know, our viewers are weighing in on this. I know you guys all have opinions as well. Uh, Tina M. Cummings at home says, these hands do too much pecking and not enough listening. They need to own their part in this mess. Uh, Love Being a Grana says, these daughters have way too much information about their mother's private life. Hashtag nosy daughters. Uh, at Fashion Swain says, Mom, you're putting yourself in danger by meeting strangers. Don't let your kids get a phone call. Hashtag nosy daughters. Look, I think you're lying about about half of this. It's your opinion. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. I think you're lying about half of it. I don't think you need to lie about any of it. I, I, Lion, maybe that's too strong. I think you're spinning a lot of this. I'll put it that way. You don't have to answer to your daughters. No, I don't. I, I tell you, if if my, I got two sons. If they come over and start taking my inventory and tell me what I can do and can't do, it's going to be a short conversation. Mm -hmm. Not going to happen because that's just not how it works. And you can do what you want to do. And you don't owe them explanations. That's why I think. And if my parents ever referenced anything about their sex life, I A, threw up and then put my fingers in my ears. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I didn't want to hear it. And I'm sure they don't want to know about all of this. How this is okay with your husband, 
uh, even remotely, I don't know. We both had issues in our marriage, and we yeah. both got to a point, but that's really none of their business. Well, that's exactly so my point. we're guilty of certain things. That's exactly we, you know, my point. The problem with kids opining on their parents' relationship is there's so much you don't know about what's going on in that relationship. There's so much you don't know, which works out okay because it isn't your business. It is not your business what your mother does. It is not your business. And if you want to hold your children hostage because you confabulate some theory that she's going to put them in harm's way with her behavior, then I think you're being histrionic and overdramatic. She certainly got you raised. She certainly got you raised. She certainly got she you raised. But so that's, that's you don't problem. know what she was doing and when she was doing it. What I'm saying is you can set up this overdramatic sort of thing and hold your children hostage because it gives you power if you want to, but that's not going to serve your children well to carve their grandmother out of their lives. They pick up the tab for that. Okay, well, can I, can I have my opinion on this? No. Okay, well. I'm, it's my turn. You've been talking okay. the entire time. <laughs> Just adult to adult, I am really concerned about your judgment and putting yourself in harm's way. If you meet people over the internet and then you go meet them in the real world, particularly somewhere private, mm -hmm. like a parking lot in a car, that's just dumb. Well, this was all in October of I last don't year. Care. I got brains since then. Okay, look, I don't spoke, d listen. I found a friend that I could actually confide in and yeah. spoke to. And so but Kimberly, in October listen, of last I, year, I, I've gotten I, brains since I, then. I do a lot of shows regarding the internet and there are some weird cats really, I on the internet I and oh. you don't want to be putting yourself in harm's way right. and if you're going out and meeting men I had nobody or nowhere to go and now I do and that has been a huge blessing what I'm this telling you because it's been good well I'm glad you consider it a blessing what I'm telling you is this you don't owe them an explanation but you do owe yourself consideration. Right. Do not degrade yourself by meeting men in parking lots. Do not right. degrade yourself by putting yourself out there. Do not disrespect your marriage and your family by turning away from your partner if you've got problems. Deal with that with him. And, we are and if now. that doesn't work out, then maybe it's time to shut that marriage down. That's another question for another day. But you won't find solutions by putting yourself in harm's way, degrading yourself, and who knows? Their legitimate concern is that you cross a line and allow people to know where you are and where you live, yeah, and some crazy wacko comes yeah, over there while you're watching the children, I know. and they are in harm's way. Right. And that's where they do have a legitimate Agreed. concern. You need to make sure they understand you get that, and that you are not crossing those boundaries. You can get killed by dealing with these people on the internet, and you need to stop doing right. that. Right, that's why I did. Straight out. That's why I did. Not because they judge you, but because you're putting yourself in you know, harm's way. In do you agree like with you what I'm to. telling her? I, I totally agree. So okay. I'm actually supporting a substantial part of your position, that if she, if she blurs the boundaries, then family members, you others could be in harm's way. Don't well, like said, do that this was in and October don't. October of last year, so and since do then. Do not degrade yourself by meeting strange people in a parking lot. I promise you that won't give you what I, you're looking I for. If you're bored, out. get a hobby. I figured it out. But your hobby I got is a dirt not bike. your hobby is not your <laughs> hobby is not meeting weirdos in a parking lot. Because some I guy that will come agree. meet a woman in a parking lot is not the quality if man. if anybody's watching that wants to do that, don't do it. Yeah, it's not well, worth it. Don't do it. Okay, save yourself before the world. Yeah. Okay? I did. Right. I gave it up. We're out of time. I want to thank all of my guests today. If you're experiencing drama in your family or marriage, you can go to drphil.com for advice uh, and hopefully some helpful resources. You have to respect people's right to be who they are 
But that doesn't mean you can't tell them what you think. And I think everybody here knows what everybody else thinks. We'll see you next time.